Trending Media and Design Content Curation Day. Right now, I'm here with the super producer Amadeus. What's going on? How are you? I just, you just caught me singing. <laughs> <laughs> You're a producer, that's what producers hey, do, right? Get yes, the vibe, get yes, the vibe. Yes. How you feeling today? I'm good. Um, the weather's a little rainy yeah. and, and muggy, um, but you know, either you can look at it in a negative way or you can get the positive and say, you know, God is showering down blessings on us, yes. you know, so that's how I kind of, kind of view everything. So I'm happy to be here, you know, and you know, hopefully we make this a legendary moment. We will. Okay. We definitely will. I, I feel we will. I feel we will. <laughs> All right, I know that you produce for a lot of big names. And I'm gonna get a little nosy real quick. <laughs> who did you make the most money with? Who had the bag? Like, who gave it up? It's gotta be Trey Songs. Um, you know, being that I toured with them for the last 12 years, um, it's been the most consistent. Um, you know, traveling, touring, being on the road with them. So I definitely would say, you know, Trey is definitely, uh, you know, made the made the pockets. Uh, great. Yeah. You know what I mean? We so like, we like good pockets. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Trigger. Yeah. And you are the CEO of Platinum Boy Music, yes. right? Yes. How hard is it being CEO? Um, It's challenging, yeah. um, but it's just like everything else. Like, it's challenging to stay dry when it's raining. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. you know, when you love it and you're passionate about what you do with this music thing that I love so dearly, it's like, it's not even work at the end of the day. You get up, I, I get up every day blessed to be able to do what I love to do each and every single day. That's create music. That's tour, that's put shows together, that's produce, you know, people's favorite songs, you know, with our favorite artists that are out. So it's a blessing. Um, and I'm appreciative to be in a position to do what I love to do. So, you know, no complaints about the difficulty. It's just you get up and you get to it and you get it done. Yes. Yes. And speaking of touring, you of course are the tour drummer for Trey Song. Yes. Now, how many like how many days out of the year are you like on the road, like away from home? Um, half the year is it more than half the year is it so many days that you can't right. remember it depends it depends on the vibe depends on what he has going on musically if, it's, mm -hmm. if there's an album out um you know because that i would say the beginning years when we first started we opened up for jay-z so he was out on the blueprint three tour then right after that we went on the omg tour with usher mm -hmm. opened up for usher then we had our own tour where we actually introduced the world of big sean on a mixtape tour um we had another tour we introduced the world to Miguel and El you know what I'm saying? So there was a there was years where we were just out right. and just gone, you know, tours after tours, festivals, Essence Fest, Summer Jam, BT Awards. Um, so, you know, so there's moments in life where when you hot, you hot, and everybody wants you, and you're <laughs> everywhere, and you get into it. Um, so that, I think the longest we've ever been out was probably for three months. Um, we did a tour. Was it just us? I think it was just us. Um, and then right after our tour, we went across, we went out overseas and was on the Pink Print tour with Nicki Minaj. Um, so that was challenging, you know, mm -hmm. being gone, like you said, away from your family, yeah. away from your loved ones, your kids, and to actually celebrate New Year's Eve, and then the next day fly yeah. up for yeah. another month and a half. You know, so it's, it's, it's tough, man. And people, I'm glad you asked that because people don't really see that side. Yeah. They don't understand that side. They go to the show, they have a great time, mm -hmm. they go home, and then life goes on, you know, we're like on the tour bus that night, mm -hmm. you know, tired, you know, sleeping on a bus, you know, and it's cool. The buses are nice, mm -hmm. you know, luxurious, <laughs> extravagant, but when you're on a bus and you're in them little bumps and the joints, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you're doing this mm -hmm. all night, you're not really getting real, that real, real good sleep. You shut your eyes, but you ain't really getting that real good sleep. But, you know, there's moments and, um, you know, Trey's working on the music. Mm -hmm. Um, so we've kind of been off and on, you know, little spot dates here and there, little festivals, little summer shows like that. Um, so, you know, you got to be able to multitask, man. So for, uh, between, between the producing, touring with Trey, speaking, teaching, uh, I have a residency in Vegas, wow. you know, where I play at uh, Dre's nightclub. It's the number one uh, hip-hop club out in Vegas. So I play the drums alongside the DJ. Nice. You know, and that's kind of dope and historic because most times we speak of, of residencies as artists and DJs. To everybody that I mentioned, they're like, well, you're a DJ? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm a drummer. I'm mm -hmm. like, so what are you doing? I'm like, I'm playing drums with the DJ. Mm -hmm. So all your favorite songs, whether it's Migos, whether it's Drake, Trey, Chris Brown, I'm playing drums too, you know, that set, so it's a good time. That's super dope. Yeah. I haven't ever seen anybody do anything like that. You gotta come see it, man. You gotta come see it. Yeah. Whenever you're in Vegas, let me know. I'm fly out there. Yeah. All right, here go the invite. All right, yes, he out yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, when you come off tour, because I know, like you said, tour is not easy. So when you come off tour, what's the first thing that you do? Get in the bed, man. <laughs> like, get in the bed. Ain't nothing like, and it, there's no place like home, man. I think. Mm -hmm. 
you don't really appreciate those moments un until you're gone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you're out on the road and you're in a hotel room, and like I said, you're sleeping in the bunks on the yeah. bed, on uh, uh, the bunks or on the bus, and it's just tough. So to just see your bed and 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 your home that's familiar to you, you know that home cooked meal. Mm -hmm. You know, I just you know when I come off the tour, man, I just chill. Yeah. Like, I, I do a bunch of nothing. Mm -hmm. Like play video games, I don't want to see the studio, I don't want to see no music, I don't want to see Trey, I love you Trey, but when I get off the tour, <laughs> no Trey, no, no, none, none, um, and it is what it is, um, so I just enjoy my family, yeah. um, and, and, and go out and, and kind of, uh, because you know, you focus on making the money, and oftentimes you don't enjoy it, you know, so I'm big on enjoying it and doing the, the small things and regular things, the regular shit that you know, you don't really get to do being on the road and moving so much. So just downtime and just enjoy life. That's dope. Now at this point in your career, what is the goal? Like, what do you wake up in the morning and say, this is what I'm chasing today? Like, what's your goals? Great question. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff, man. And I'm just at a point in life where I just want to give. Yeah. You know, I just want to give, I want to help, I want to teach, I want to inspire. And you know, you hear those words often and it's kind of cliche, but you know, I really live my life that way, mm -hmm. where I'm an example. I'm from I'm from Wednesday night from Washington Avenue. I'm from, you know, where I'm not supposed to be doing what I'm doing today. Right. I'm from where a lot of people I grew up with are no longer here, locked up, you know, because of decisions and choices that they made. I, just, I chose music, and music saved my life. You know, so I just really push that and really encourage people to go after their dreams and, and to keep hustling and to keep pushing and, and me to just give them as much information as I can give them. I was talking to Billy earlier. It's like, you know, sometimes people are intimidated and afraid to share and to give information and because they're intimidated about losing their spot. Mm -hmm. You know, but I always say where I'm going to give you information and everything you need to be great and you can have my spot. You know, and, and I say that and there's no shot. It's just the truth is where is I want, I want you to take my spot because if, I, if you take my spot, that means I move. Mm -hmm. I move to the next location. I move to the next level, you know, and, and so you can have that. You know what I'm saying? And it's, again, that's no shot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, come get my spot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, people people is gonna have to come after you. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can really build a, a, leg, a legacy and history is people following your footsteps and be inspired by what you do, mm -hmm. what you created, and take that to the next level. 